this is what uh, uh, the table given by the brain cradle for ph calculation look at here we have a north latitude degrees north latitude 0 10 15 uh, 20 25 30 35 40 like that we here we have a north uh, latitude only because we are in the north hemisphere that's why we have only one table if you are in the south hemisphere then a table will be different okay. now for all the months he has given various values and out of them we need to select then values of k for uh, selected crops we have a rice wheat maize sugar cane and cotton potatoes natural vegetations you know there are so many are there for all of them we have the k values okay we will solve one problem here don't think this one this you take this much okay read the problem estimate potential uh, evapotranspiration of an area for the season november to february okay november to february in which wheat is grown which is grown wheat is grown the area is in north india the area is in north india with a latitude of 30 degree north with a mean monthly temperature as below mean monthly temperature in november is 16.5 temperature is 13.0 uh, in december in january 11 degree in february 14.5 degree this is given in the form, uh, uh, problem then use the blenny cradle formula then we need to calculate it okay then the solution says that from the table we will collect k value and we will collect a ph value okay now we will go to the table i will show you that hmm. see this is the one table and in this table we have in the 30th uh, degree 30th degree january 7.3 february 7.03 and November 7.17, 7.15. We have a four values and these four values will connect it. And after that, we have a pH value, uh, sorry, K value. This is your pH value. Okay, and K value for a particular crop. This is the crop. This is the wheat it is. For wheat, we have a 0 0.65. And these uh, informations you collect and write them here. Okay. See here, this is your K value I wrote and pH value that I will make a table here. pH value I made. The table you need to draw in the examination, it is required that November, December, January, February. And TF is given in the problem 16.5, 13, 11 and 14.5. 16.5, 13, 11 and 16.5. Sorry, it is 14.5. Okay. Right? Uh? Here it is 14.5. Then after that TF is there. TF means Fahrenheit because the Blaney cradle you want in Fahrenheit. Therefore, here in the side I have given you the conversion. Fahrenheit will be formula is what? F is equal to 1.8 C plus 32. Then you substitute here and you will get uh, uh, the temperature in terms of Fahrenheit. Is it now? Then this pH value we got it from table. The pre uh, that next table uh, shown that. Okay, that January uh, November, December, January, February. Then after that you get this value. How? P into T divided by 100. See, this is a T and this is a P divided by 100 and you will get these four values. Okay. Then you got the sum. The total, you sum it and you will get the summation of that. Then what is the answer? 2.54 K into F is the equation. 2.54 K into F is your answer. That is your, your potential uh, evapotranspiration is 26.85 centimeter per month per month do you have any doubts here huh? if you have anything to ask you can ask that's affecting evapotranspiration distinguish between the potential and actual evapotranspiration that graph you need to draw make a differences for four mass it is asked then uh, this is a Enlist the factors affecting evapotranspiration. Same thing, this question and this question same. Define evapotranspiration and evapotranspiration. Evaporation and evapotranspiration. List the factors affecting the evaporation. Ha, see here, this is evaporation they are asking. 